It's Friday, October 18th, and this is Mr. Reichler's Weekly Webcast. First of all, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the parents for coming out for parent conferences this week. It was really nice to be able to sit down and talk to each one of you and talk about what's most important, your child and their education. A um, couple of reminders and just general notes for everybody. Uh, math facts, please. Uh, if it, if it, we've got to get those math facts down, so please give at least 10 minutes a night uh, in doing the math facts and also reading at night, uh, a very important, uh, reading a good quality book, um, and then maybe a little brain candy book and then a good quality book and then maybe a little brain candy book, but just reading is very important as well, uh, at home. And speaking of books, I'd like to thank our uh, book buyer volunteers. We have added 26 wonderful books to our, uh, reading library. And uh, thank you all so much for uh, bringing in some fresh new reading material into our library. I, I, the kids appreciate it and I appreciate it greatly. Moving on, Wasiga. Yes, we are leaving Monday. Buses are wheels up at 11 a.m. We're gonna start loading uh, about 10.30. If you're a chaperone, if you could be here about 10.15ish, uh, to uh, begin the loading process and all the fun and games that go with it. Um, you can drop off all of your supplies, your suitcase, your pillow, your sleeping bag, uh, starting at early a.m. on the covered plague area, and this is for everyone, on the covered playground. Um, there'll be a name on the wall for each teacher. Uh, just look for Eichler and just start a line of suitcases and we'll get them all on the bus later on in the morning. Um, rain is still in the forecast for Tuesday. It looks like Monday now it's going to be cloudy uh, without a chance of rain, according to the extended forecast. Uh, it's going to be chilly, so definitely pack some sweatshirts and a jacket. And Tuesday looks to be, at this point at least, the only rain day uh, in the forecast, at least to the forecast that I looked at. And that is the extended forecast, so we know it's going to change at least 12 times before Monday. Um, a Something I forgot to mention about Wasiga during conferences, and I meant to do it, and I totally forgot, and please, I'm sorry. Um, $20 for the canteen, if you would like. Uh, they can buy souvenirs there. They can buy t-shirts and little stuffed animal things and all kinds of little trickety stuff. Uh, the money raised uh, and purchases go towards funding the camp. Uh, they're not gonna be any candy or any junk food stuff like that, but they can buy a nice Wasiga t-shirt or get a plush toy or something like that uh, with the cantina. So if you'd like to send some money with them, I'll collect all the money on Monday morning and put it into a little envelope for them and keep track of their money so they don't lose it in all the uh, running around. But uh, uh, it's totally optional and up to y'all. Um, if you're dropping off meds, you can do that today after 1230, again on the covered playground where Ms. Mitchell will be out there to meet you all. Um, and yes, if you need a packing list, packing list can be found on the parent information tab in their OneNote and it's the very top page and all the packing information is right there should you need uh, to find it. I think that's all the Wasika stuff. Uh, the Trit Amazing Race, again, a huge thank you. Your generosity is just beyond measure. Uh, we raised well over $3,600. Uh, I think we were in the $3,800 range. We made our six-tier goal, which was to get over $3,600. So yes, Pancake Palooza is happening. Um, I have yet to pick a date. I'll figure that out when we get back from Wasiga. Um, a sleepover is tonight. If you donated $300 or more, um, your, uh, the child sleepover is tonight here at Tritt. That will be starting at 8 o'clock after... Uh, the family fun night, and um, you can drop them off at 8 p.m. through the front doors, and people will be there to see you. I will be here as well, running around in the gym um, and having fun with them as well for a little while. I'm not spending the night, though. Um, and finally, what's going on in the classroom? <laughs> It's been a week. Um, we have been working in math on input-output boxes, finding the pattern and applying the rule. In writing, we have had comma and punctuation boot camp this week. Uh, you might even say it's comma palooza. Uh, but hopefully, uh, we've begun to understand when, where, and why to use commas in our writing. It could happen. And finally, in social studies this week, we have been studying the Battle of Saratoga. So go ahead and ask them about the turning point of the Revolutionary War. 
uh, and see what they can tell you about it. That's everything I got. You all have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see chaperones at 10.15ish Monday morning and ready to go camping. I'm excited. I hope the kids are too. It's going to be a fantastic trip. Rain or shine, they can't help but have fun. Everyone have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you soon.